Hello traders, this is Rich from TradeSite. This is a look at our ETF scans for the coming week. This is going to be for the week of July 1st, 2013. We've got a decently strong session today going, but it's on uh, some lighter volume. Uh, today is the Russell rebalance, so we're seeing some volume, but uh, not really so much in the generals, mostly uh, in the smaller names. But uh, that won't affect the ETFs too much, so let's, get a, let's move on and take a look at uh, what's going on with the majors. Today we've got... Uh, Upside continuations indicated in the spiders and also the queues, but uh, but it is Friday in the summer and we are we are trading fairly light volume uh, for these. And again, just to reiterate, the uh, volume is really concentrated to the Russell type names today. As far as the, ind ind the individual um, sector ETFs, uh, seeing the same kind of strength, um, it, it's it's definitely an upward bias, but it's not it's not overwhelmingly decisive by any stretch. We've got upside. Uh, conditions in the XRT, XLU, XLY, and also the SMASH. So these should be names that, uh, you know, should be on the long side of the ledger for your watch list uh, for this coming week on Monday. Moving on, moving on to the commodities, this is where things are the most interesting. Look at the pops in the volume here and some of these really, really good performances. Uh, big volume bump in, in the GLD, that's having a very, very strong session trying to pivot and uh, put in some kind of a decent bottom here. Silver, even performing better, 5% above the days open on a volume bump. So definitely keep those uh, those names on the list. Uh, the GDX, which is which represents the gold miners, is almost 10% above the days open on two times the typical volume. A um, couple things to the downside, the DBA and the DBC both are indicated lower for Monday. The DBA, that's the agricultural arm, uh, does have a volume bump as well. Not seeing uh, really anything noteworthy here in the in the bonds. Foreign names are, are pretty pretty good to buy here. A couple of camouflage buy signals, and also a couple of uh, upside CPSs. Only seeing really decent volume in the EWT and also the EWU. The rest of the uh, the rest of the volume is all fairly light uh, for the foreign ETFs. As far as the specials go, we're a little bit biased to the to the long side as well. Got a couple of continuations on the things that are uh, the inverse, the, the shorts, the QID, and the SKF are indicated lower, but the DIG, QLD, SSO uh, all have upside indications. This DIG, um, lever to the gold miners, does have a nice volume bump, so I would definitely keep that on the list and consider that for uh, uh, any kind of a setup that might present itself on, on Monday. So let's turn our attention real quickly to the uh, to the to not the scans but to our uh, our bar counts on our watch list. All right, and here's a look at our watch list with our uh, bar counts indicated on it. A uh, couple things are definitely noteworthy here. Up at the top, the uh, IW IWM, which represents the uh, the small caps. Notice that we're uh, 12 days up now on the secret countdown in the in the standard countdown. And also the aggressive countdown. Going to be really close to printing 13 days up, so we're also in the midst of the Russell rebalance, so that very much could be in play next week if they get these uh, to start to roll. I think you want to be there and make sure that you're not passing on opportunities on the short side in the uh, IWM or any of the individual stocks if you, if you choose to play it that way as well. Also notable is the uh, KRE. We're 13 days up in the uh, countdown phase of both the uh, aggressive and standard seeker and we're 11 days up now in the comer so we could sh start to see some uh, exhaustion and some rollover in that sector the other thing to watch is the XHB is 10 days down in the buy count and for the standard countdown and 12 days down for the aggressive countdown so we're getting close to a potential turn here in the XHB so I'd definitely keep keep that on the list for this coming week as well. All right, folks, as always, thanks for listening. Enjoy your weekend, and we hope to see you again next week.